Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, September 13th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Shop for a locksmith? And this is wordplay. And this is not L-O-C-K smith. Hmm. Locksmith. I wonder if they're making a joke about bagel toppings. I guess this could be a deli, maybe? Let's see if that's right. Let's see if we can build down. Bend out of shape. Yeah, I kind of like the D here. Maybe it could be deform? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Green machine. Is that going to be an eco car? That's a kind of green machine. Words shouted before no hands. Isn't that look ma no hands before you do a dangerous stunt? Experiencing a flow state. Ooh, that's when you're really focused on a task. Hmm, what would be another way to describe that? I think something like in the zone would make sense. Yeah, this has to be Jason Mraz, right? That's a singer. Jason who sang I'm Yours. Yeah, this is all looking very good. Noodle dish that might be made with a flavor packet. That's gotta be ramen. William of Blank, noted 14th century philosopher. I think this is gonna be William of Occam. Yeah, he came up with Occam's razor. Forbiddance, that's gotta be a ban. Let's see if we can get this first grid spanner here. This has gotta be part of the theme. Buffalo Bill EG. Okay, well, Buffalo Bill was a cowboy, but there's also a football team named the Buffalo Bills. It's got to start with football, right? Football player? Yeah, there we go. Interesting, okay. Ponzi scheme for one. That's definitely a scam. 90 degree bend could be an L. Instruments played pizzicato in Britain's Simple Symphony. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to guess this is cellos. I don't know that for sure, but... Just based on that L, it seems to work. Religious offshoot, that's gonna be a sect. Last pharaoh of Egypt informally. Is that gonna be Cleo, Cleopatra? Subjects. I don't think this is talking about royal subjects. I think this is gonna be topics, like subjects for a sentence. Real estate burdens. That could be liens, right? If you have a mortgage, the bank has a lien on your house. Albanian currency. Ooh, I don't think I know this one. I wonder if this is going to be a theme answer. It is. It's pointing to a revealer. Radio City Music Hall Performer. That's got to be a rocket, right? Hmm. So we have football player and a rocket. Hmm. Foot rock? I'm not really sure if I can find anything that these two things have in common. Title role for Alan Ladd in a classic 1953 western. I think there's a western called Shane, isn't there? Put in the overhead bin, say. I think this would be stow, right? You have to stow your luggage. Mind over matter. This is a funny little wordplay. This is not using your mental toughness to grit it out. Yeah, this is mind over, as in something that is mind. It's going to be or. That's very funny. What games like chess, stratego, and risk simulate? That's got to be war. Hava Nagila dance? That's the horror. 1995 Pixar film that launched a franchise. That's definitely Toy Story. Top of the Highlands, and this is more wordplay, so this is not going to be a high mountain in the Highlands. I think this is going to be a top or a hat that people wear in Scotland. That's going to be a tam, a tam o shanter. The E in BCE, that's before common era. This is an or, paddle lookalike, yeah that's right. Regretful soul. Is this going to be a ruer? <laughs> what a word. Unsolemnly swear. Is that going to be cuss? Yeah, that's not being very solemn. Murmur lovingly. That's going to be a coup, like a dove does. Reedy woodwind. 
That has to be an oboe. Projectiles from a pellet gun. That's going to be BBs. And then I bet we're going to have another theme answer in the middle here. Let's take a look. Bun in the oven, so to speak. That's definitely an unborn baby, right? Yeah, that's a bun in the oven. Unborn baby, rocket, football player. I have no idea what these are going to all have in common. This is a total mystery to me. Running by the pool, e.g. That would be an example of a no-no, especially if you ask a lifeguard. Term of endearment. Is that going to be Bay? A very modern pet name. Porridge base. That could be oats. The marbling in marbled beef. Hmm. Pro blank? Perfunctory? I think that's pro forma, right? That's a Latin phrase. Gets in the way of. This has to be obstructs. Yeah. Diarist Frank, that'll be Anne Frank. Passionately protesting. Hmm. I'm not sure what this should be. Bits of tomfoolery. Is this going to be japes? That would be a fun entry. I hope that's what it is. Is this up in arms? That would make sense for protesting. Lawyers Org. Isn't that the American Bar Association? Let's hope this J is right. Airport once called Idlewild for short. Yeah, Idlewild is the old name for John F. Kennedy Airport. Nice, so we have the FBI here, part of the Department of Justice. Because we have an abbreviation in our clue, our answer needs to be abbreviated also. Marsupial stylized in the Qantas logo. And this is another theme answer. I think this is going to be a kangaroo. That's the Australian airline. So football, rocket, unborn baby, kangaroo. What in the world is going to tie all of these things together? Football, rocket, unborn baby. Man, this one's going to be a total surprise. Let's build down towards this revealer here. Whopping? Is it giant? If something's whopping, it's really big, right? The Terminator and HAL 9000 for two. Those are both AIs. We have two eyes together? That's very unlikely. I think giant is probably going to be wrong here. This could be Aries? I think that is the first zodiac sign. Hmm, maybe it's grand? I'm still not sure about this. The Crimson Tide to fans. That's a nickname for the University of Alabama, right? And they're asking to fans, so we need to come up with a nickname. I think that's going to be Bama. So this is not grand. Hmm, maybe it's great? Let's hope third time's a charm here. Give the boot. That should be oust, as you would a leader. Succession Network? I think that's on HBO, isn't it? Blanc de Parfum? I think this is going to be O. Oh, yeah, that's the French term for perfume or cologne. Water of perfume. All right, I think we probably have enough here. Let's take a look at this revealer. Lead into a surprising twist or a hint to 16, 22, 32, and 45 across. Hmm, lead into a surprising twist. Is it here's the kicker? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, these are all things that kick, right? A football player can kick, especially if we're talking not about American football. A rocket definitely kicks. Unborn babies kick inside the womb. And kangaroos kick for sure. That's very funny. A nice and cheeky revealer, I like that. All right, let's fill out this last corner here. Respect singer Franklin. That's going to be Aretha Franklin. A 0% chance colloquially. Maybe no shot? Hmm. Clean Air Org. That should be the Environmental Protection Agency. Again, it's abbreviated because we have an abbreviation in the clue. Pueblo people. I think that's the Hopi. Quadrupedal combat vehicle in Star Wars films. They called that an AT-AT, I think. 
variety show routine. That'll be a skit. Enthusiastic response to want some ice cream? <laughs> Is this do I? Do I ever? Yeah, that's really funny. Piloted. Is that drove? That sounds pretty good. Grew disenchanted. This should be soured, I think. Ruler whose title is derived from the name Caesar. That's going to be a Russian czar. And then what do we have down here? Aaron who created the West Wing. I believe that's Aaron Sorkin. Big name in skincare. I think that's a Vino. Ungerrymandered say as a voting district. Hmm. What is this? Ungerrymandered. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what this should be. Let's look at these acrosses. Straight poker. And this is a wordplay clue that's indicated by this question mark here. With wordplay clues, you have to look for a punny answer. I think we had a couple of other wordplay clues previous to this, yeah. So this is not going to be about the game of poker that you play straight with no wilds or anything. I think this is literally going to be about something you poke things with. That could be a tine on a fork or something. Yeah. Shouldn't this be redrew? Ungerrymandered. Oh man, this is not an adjective, it's a past tense verb. Very tricky. So this should be snow, skiers, powder, yeah. Excellent. All right, let's throw this W in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in just under 17 minutes. That's a very good Tuesday time. So what do we have for our theme today? We have a fairly pedestrian grouping of theme answers paired with a very spicy revealer. I love this. Here's the kicker. And our theme answers are all things that can be kickers. That's a lot of fun. That's a perfect Tuesday theme. There was some nice longer fill on the downs too. I liked up in arms. That's great. In the Zone is also really good, and Toy Story. This is such a good movie. I also liked seeing Japes. That's a fun bit of vocab. And we actually had a good amount of wordplay today, too. This is pretty good, Top of the Highlands for Tam. That's a Scottish hat. And we also have Tyne for straight poker. It's a very good pun. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving this Tuesday puzzle with me. And here's the kicker. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.